YouTube family, my IG family, my Facebook family, my Twitter family, whoever, Kiwi family, whoever watches this video, you out there, what's going on? Excuse the meltdown of the makeup. My locks are in a frizz, but who cares? So once again, for those of you who do not know me, um, my name, my real name is Amelia Bryant, but my AKA vegan naughty name is Emmy Wu. That is my baby name in honor of my Filipino grandmother. I kept it and that is my brand name. I am the house of vegan naughty. And um, I've been doing um, a lot of thinking. So I was in meditation just a couple minutes ago. So I started the value up videos and the value up videos are you know, um, change your mind, change your view to a healthier you, um, stop being married to your food. And these are the things that I am really on about people right now about this because you have to get your mindset right when you want to change your life and anything to your regeneration, to your transformation. So changing your mind is part of your regeneration to your transformation transformation is like just like when you get a new license you get married that's a new transformation in your life you know um gaining weight that's a new transformation losing weight it's a new transformation having a baby transformation everything is transformation in your life and also things are regeneration in your life you know when you get a breakup and you go through heartache things like that that's a regeneration and it messes with your mental messes with your physical messes with you spiritually everything learning new religions walking in your faith everything is a regeneration to your transformation so um why am i doing this video so i was in meditation and it happened last night during meditation that i wanted to speak upon how um I was thinking to myself, and it's going to be a little bit vulgar, but it's going to be real, and that's what I'm about. So if you have children that's going to watch this video, there's going to be certain words, like maybe just two words that should not, that I really, you know, I'm trying to change the words a little bit, okay, so you'll understand, but I'm just going to keep it real. All right, ladies, I'm going to talk to you first about your vagina. I'm not going to say the other word, but you're for JJ, your kingdom, and men, you need to listen to because your TT or whatever pina colada down there this goes for you too all right so let's let's get this all right so you know that your JJ, your vagina ladies have a natural acidic and natural pH and has good bacteria that helps fight off diseases okay so when you have a menstrual cycle why does it have that scent you'll say oh it's getting rid of all of the impurities okay cool yes that's true it does it's, it's cleansing you out but the reason why it has that smell is due to how you're eating now have you ever thought that my menstrual cycle is also not just a normal thing because we're women and you know biblically oh because of Eve eating the apple that's why I have a period and and you know all these things that um that it's also a message to you about what's in your body have you ever know, knew or try to think about that and a lot of us don't think of it we're just like oh I'm on my period I'm having cramps and and everything so it's just a period no actually your period yes it's cleans it's cleansing you out but the reason why you have clots and everything is because of poor, poor ass diet okay the clots can come from you having cysts um, you know fibroids all those things but it's from a poor ass diet from your sugars from drinking alcohol, from drinking caffeine, from drinking fast food, eating fast foods, um, you know, processed foods, um, you know, things that are just, just so saturated, you know, so saturated with fats, everything that's not good for your body. Your body is, is fighting so much in so many different ways, and that's why you have cramps. So, you don't drink enough water, you're not eating a lot of natural fruits, you're not eating enough greens. You know, when you eat like um, a lot of garlic or you eat a lot of like the yellow onions, because I eat red onions and since I'm vegan, my JJ doesn't have a scent. I drink a lot of water with chlorophyll in it, um, nothing but water. My juices that I drink, if it's not 100% Welch's grape juice, um, I drink like 100% 
not concentrated mulberry juice i put water in it um coconut water stuff like that i drink no sodas i can't even drink soda sodas are so nasty to me sorry to the so uh, soda company but i'm not you know not being mean but they're not good for me but they're not good for you um you know fast foods i don't eat you know um yes i am vegan i'm completely almost to the point where i eat no cooked foods whatsoever because my body has changed mentally spiritually physically i have changed so let me explain so in my example for myself because i always put myself out there so when i was not vegan and i was vegetarian i still um you know was eating meat and I still, when my period came, I don't don't have cramps, but I ended up getting like these weird like cramps afterwards, but I never had cramps, so I could never tell when my period was coming, okay? So at the end of the day, um, I did have like sometimes like a scent, and I never thought about it. That was a sign from my body telling me I'm not eating correctly, and it was from the, like from eating meat and things of that nature. And a lot of you won't agree to this, but think about it. If you ask some vegan women that's out there or vegan men, okay, even men, you know how like men and I'm your TT, your pina colada, you'll say, oh, it just sweats down there because of the hair. You need to trim that hair down there. See, we're going to get real on this. And, um, you know, the sweat of your glands from... You know, your pina colada and all that has a smell because you're, you know, you're keeping it closed in. You're not wearing boxers. You're wearing briefs, you know, to keep it heated up. So not only that, but when you do that and you're not wearing boxers and you keeping the briefs on and you're keeping it sealed up and then you're eating meat or if you're overweight and all that smell that's coming, that's perspiring. That is from showing the smell is also from the food that you're eating. And that's a sign to you like, yo, I need to eat better. If your pores are pouring out a smell that's not normal and it's, and, and it's not natural and people are like, oh, God, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like people will say onion smell under the armpits is natural. No, it's, I mean, to you it is. But to me, there should be a point where you're eating where you don't even have no sit underneath your armpits or maybe to the point where you don't even have to wear deodorant because you've changed your um, eating habits this all changes your pH in your body this all changes the natural acidic that's in your body and everything so what I'm saying to you guys is you really need to take heed this year take heed not just for um, I don't know what just flickered on me but for the disease in your life change yeah, of course the emotional part of it but this everything everything um, coincides everything matches up so if i'm changing my mindset and i want to become a vegan and i want to eat healthier and i want to do right then everything in me has to change when i start eating right i have to make sure is this good for my body is it going to make my body smell like we don't think about all these things so that what was on my mind so this is a value up video to value yourself up so natural your scent um, like naturally needs to be a natural scent and if you're smelling bad and I hate when people act like they don't smell themselves and you're standing by someone so if that person can smell you damn it you could smell yourself so take care of it stop eating poorly and start eating right drinking a lot of water okay drink a lot of water hydrate your body even though our body's made of water made up of water you need to drink more water because you got to flush everything out. Eat more fruits, natural. Don't add no honey on it. Eat more fruits. The juices that you're drinking, 100% organic juices are natural, sweet, naturally sweet. If they're already con like not concentrated, add half a water. Like, you know, if you don't have the distilled water with the chlorophyll, get you some um, spring water and half it if you had to, if you have to, or purify water if you have to, okay? Watch how you're eating. Ladies, this is very important, you know, um, that what you eat is how your JJ is going to smell and, you know, and how you're going to smell and how your period comes out. I, I challenge women out there to change your diet for about a week or if you know when your period is coming. I want you to change before that period comes. 
Now, in the beginning, you might, um, you know, um, first couple of weeks, it might still have that smell. But keep doing it. Like, change in your, start, stop, like, eating things that are fast food and do your best not to eat, um, ca drink caffeine or alcohol and things of that nature. Because, you know, when you're drinking alcohol and high sugars and all that, ladies, that causes the yeast infections. You know, and also, ladies, we're going to get we're, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to sure because I'm 40 years old. When a man penetrates inside you, clean yourself out. Don't be sitting there with that stuff up in you. I'm sorry, man, but I'm just saying y'all go. Both of y'all go clean yourselves off all that trying to lay down. And after somebody do something, go like go, go take a shower. Go women, clean yourself out because that set is up in there, too. That's why you don't need to be soul tying with this man, this man, and let people just penetrate all up in you. Clean yourself out. You know, this is the value up. So if you don't like what I say, I'm sorry, but this all coincides with a healthy life, a healthy living, and, you know, a healthier you. So, I mean, that was just on my mind. I had to say it. So I love you guys. Value. Value up. Value up. Value you. Change the mind, change the view to a healthier you because I'm telling you, if you want, don't want to have dis-ease or dis-eases or, um, you know, just any errors in your life, you got to be disciplined and you got to like read what's in the, what's on your food, what's in your food, know what makes you smell bad. Your body is talking to you and you don't even know it. So start listening, God damn it. And I love you. This is the Vegan Naughty Way. If you have any other questions or if you have a question and you want me to answer it, subscribe and like my channel. But if you have a question, please email me at veganati. That's V-E-G-A-N-N-A-T-T-I at gmail.com. Um, you can find me on Facebook at the Vegan Naughty Group. Um, also, you can friend me on Facebook. It's Amelia Bryant. Um, on IG, it's at Dr. underscore Emmy Wu underscore Veganati. Hit your girl up. And if you have any questions or anything, there is no such thing as a dumb question. Hit me up because it's time for us to save your life. And it's time to do it in a natural way. And quit taking them damn synthetic drugs. Because once you take them, your body gets immune. And then you're upping your dosage. And then you're having other problems. Come on, y'all. It's time to use the herbs that God, the creator, gave us on this earth. And let's get healthy. I know you guys think that, you know, I try to use um, diet fads. Everything's not for everyone. Um, I know you guys are out there. Um, you lost weight. But at the same time, um, the weight that came back, you gained five pounds the next couple months, 10 pounds. And you're in fear. I'm going to tell you what. Hit me up. We'll keep that weight off. And that's all I got to say. So once again, this is a value up from the Veganati, the house of Veganati. I am Vegan Chef Emmy Wu. Follow me. Like it. Don't like it. Whatever you want to do. I don't care, but at least you listened. I got you to listen. I got you to listen. Pay attention. So I love you. And love your damn self. Peace. <laughs>